Hello everyone, thank you for joining today. So today is the um, the Wednesday, 11th of November, 2020. So this is a recorded video, this is not a live stream. So basically you enjoy my talk today. And today is Wednesday, so every Wednesdays I talk about um, my own strategy. I will put the Ichimoku knowledge aside and I will talk about my own strategy which is called KTS case trading strategy. And today's topic is especially about the stop loss. So let's get to the topic right now. And before starting anything here, just a quick disclaimer. This information is basically uh, based on my own experience and knowledge. So when you take trades, please do with your own risk. So stop loss. Stop loss is important and that's something that everybody knows. Every trader should know that the stop loss is important and how important it is is that it is highly important. And let me show you one illustration and also how I regard the stop loss. I think I said that before already on my past videos and lives, but stop loss for me is like a seatbelt. So here is the simple slide importance of the stop loss and stop loss for me is like the seatbelt so when you're on the highway you put the seatbelt on right unless you are wild um, you should everybody should put the seatbelt on so that in case there's a crash you can uh, you can be safe so that's like a stop loss the same knowledge is, is a seatbelt for me so when I was a newbie uh, when I back in uh, seven years ago, I didn't place any stop losses, and back in then I didn't know how to calculate the lot sizing or where to put the stop loss. So basically, when the market goes against me, I didn't know where to end the end the trading. I was keep holding the position while running some losses, and I I I was losing huge at times. You know, I blow up account uh, one time, and on the second account, I decreased 50%. So I came back to demo account and actually studied my own strategy. But um, that was a time when I either did not put the stop loss, or even if I put the stop loss, I didn't know where to put the stop loss. So it was too wide for my position or for my account. The stop loss too wide. I was taking too big risk. So I was putting the stop loss, but the analogy that uh, you know my stop loss was wide is that when you imagine the car, you put the seat belt on, but this is too loose, so that uh, when the market crashes, when the car crashes, you know you actually hit hit your head uh, on the grass or on on the on the front panel or anything, you might hit hit the uh, the roof, right when the car crashes. So that was actually how I was. Yeah, how I used to put the stop losses. So now, and ever since then, my that was a big lesson, and um, I decided to put the stop loss as tight as possible. But still taking the same risk, two percent risk of trade is basically my strategy. So I have the seat belt very tight, so that it doesn't move in case there is any crash or in case there is any maybe slips or maybe there is some uh, little like uh, you know bump. To other car, um, I can be still safe because I'm risking only two percent of my whole capital. But if I take, if I risk like a ten percent, where the stop loss is loose, then um, you know um, I might hit the head, and w when the, when the car crashes, I might hit the head, and I might have like a you know after effect. So um, so where to put the stop loss is the next point. So I hope you get the importance of the stop loss at this stage. And that's why I put the stop loss every time I take trace. Um, there is one other story for me before moving on to uh, where to put the stop loss. Um, the importance of stop loss is that the um, I remember that I didn't put any stop loss because I thought that the market will come back to my position at some point in the future. So let's say I place a buy at some point and even though the market goes backwards to downside, I was expecting that the market will come back to the position and then I will exit with break even or if it keeps going up this way, then I will keep holding 
that was my idea and that's why I didn't put the stop loss because if I put the stop loss the market might hit the stop loss and I confirm the loss and I didn't want to avoid that and that's why I didn't put the stop loss but that was a big lesson for me if I keep doing that then I block uh, blow up account so that's why I thought first of all that the stop loss is very very important every time I take trades so the second question is where to put the stop loss and if you can refer to my KTS PDF here on page 11 I describe where I put the stop loss so if you can enlarge a little bit on this PDF so Please um, download this uh, KTS PDF. It's for free or for anyone. So you can click on the link below the description and you can have this PDF. But the stop loss is very important. And also where to put the stop loss is also very important. So I put the stop loss slightly above the recent high or slightly above the recent low in lower time frames. Lower time frames meaning 5 or 15 minute time frame. So usually I look at the market on multiple time frames. I confirm first of all I confirm the major trend on the daily chart or four. And then if I confirm either one of these time frames are trending, let's say daily chart is up, and then I will go down to the mid time frames, either one or thirty. And let's say if I confirm the another uptrend on the 30 minute chart, and then I move down to 15 or 5 to for entry timing and also to place the stop loss so i never put the stop loss according to the mid time frames or higher time frames i only put the stop losses based on the lower the lowest time frames in 5 or 15 minute time frame that's why my stop loss is very tight every time i take trades so let me show you a real chart example um, the market looks to be ranging right now, so let me try to find a good example. Daily chart looks to be ranging. This is Euro USD. Uh, let me show, let me squeeze the screen so that you can you know which currency pair and time frame that I'm looking at. So if you can look at this um, upper left, you can find the currency pair and also which time frame I'm watching. So this is the daily chart, as you can see, on Euro USD, And now this is ranging because, you know, Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, Chikou span very close to the candles. So this is not the timing to look for buy or sell based on the daily chart. But let me check the 4 hour chart. Um, Alright, 4 hour chart still looks to be range in the range, so no trace. Um, let me check the next one, AUD USD. Daily chart flat, 4 hour chart also flat right now. Looks like the major forex pairs are pretty much flat and I don't find any opportunities today yet to buy or sell. Oh, I can find Euro CAD is uptrending, Kumo up, Kijun Sen up, Chikou Span above the candles. So let's go to the mid time frames, 1 or 30. So let's see, one hour chart is flat now. Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. And let's see, 30 minute chart, this is also flat. So this is not really a good example either. So let me see, GBP USD is still flat in the daily chart in four. This is also, yeah, the Kijun Sen looks to be up and the Kumo is up. I can see Chikou Span breakout is confirmed. So let's move down to one hour. Okay, in one hour chart, um, the Kijun Sen is currently flat, I believe, or this is still angling up. I can say that this is uptrend because looks like Kijun Sen is slightly moving up, and um, so that the um, Senko Span A is also moving up. Kumo itself is going up right now, Chikou Span above the candles, so this is a nice uptrend confirmation. So now the market is renewing the recent high uppers and that will make these Kijun Sen and the Kumo uppers too. So this is exactly what's happening a bullish trend based on the Ichimoku Kinko Hyo here. So in this case you see um, Kijun Sen, all the Kijun Sen, Senko Span BA all moving up right now. 
because of this renewal of the recent high. So in this example, I will look for the buy chance on lower time frames. So today, let me pick the five and let me show you exactly where I put the stop loss. So I confirm three um, confirmations, three indications for the potential buy chance. And now one is in this case, I can see that the breakout of the recent high as one of the confirmations. So that's one. And also, um, let's see, I, will, I would check if this level will be one of the Fibonacci levels. So I will measure the Fibonacci between this low to the previous high based on this one, uh, five minute chart and see if this is one of these Fibonacci levels or not. If it is, then that will be second confirmation for to buy. So let me place the Fibonacci level before talking about the stop loss, always better to confirm the buy chance. So here is the um, Fibonacci level and I can see that the market retraced backwards in between 23.6% and 38.2%. So and it didn't really touch on one of these levels, so I won't take the Fibonacci in this case. And actually there was no reversal either, like uh, I can draw the line like this way, but the market did not quite touch, did not quite move backwards to the previous high. If the market was bouncing off of this previous high, like a reversal, then that would be a good confirmation, but I couldn't find it in this case, so I can't take it either. So looks like in, yeah, so let me check the Bollinger Bands and Stochastics to be more practical. Let me cancel the Ichimoku. I can say that the Bollinger Bands band walking, which is another nice indication. So the market can go up as a second confirmation. So breakout, first confirmation, and band walking, second confirmation, and I'm looking for another confirmation to buy. And in this case, I can see that the Stochastics gold cross, but this is, um, you know, a little bit too old. So I won't, I cannot take the gold cross anymore. And it, but, uh, you know, instead this is about to be dead crossing. So I can't, I won't take look at the Stochastics in this case. So let me cancel the Stochastics. So I'm looking, basically I look for one more confirmation to buy and that will be either the Fibonacci bounce, another Fibonacci bounce, or, um, you know, this is five minute chart, so most likely I will wait for another maybe one hour or so to see if the market is still uptrending and also if I can find uh, three or more confirmations one hour later. Right now, I cannot find three confirmations, and that's why I wouldn't look at the chart anymore. But let's say I find three confirmations here and place a buy. Let's imagine, because I want to talk about the stop loss. So let's say I place a buy here, and then the stop loss will be slightly below the recent, uh, recent low in five minute chart, because I confirm, I confirmed the uh, buying edges based on the five, so the stop loss will be based on the five minute chart also. I wouldn't take the stop loss on one hour or four hour chart, I wouldn't take it. So in this case, the previous low was at this level. So let me put the horizontal line here. Oops, hold on. So this will be the stop loss. And in this case, I got the stop loss of uh, 10 pips only. And I expect the market to go up this way. Well, 10 pips is might be a too tight, so I might take the even previous high, previous low, which is at this level. If I put the stop loss here, so let me put this one as stop loss two, or stop loss one. Um, if I put the stop loss on this stop loss two, then that will be pips wise. It's going to be uh, 26 or 27 pips of a stop loss, which is decent. But still, I take 2% risk per trade. Um, whether I take 10 pips of stop loss or 27 pips of stop loss, I take 2% on the particular trade and I still expect the market to go up as it goes on. 
So, but let me come back to the topic about the stop loss. You know, right? uh, stop loss is very important because this is like a seat belt, as I said before, and also stop loss is important so that even if the market goes backwards this way, and if it breaks the recent low downwards this way, what's gonna happen is that it might become bearish end wave on this five minute chart. So meaning that if it breaks down, then it might continue to go down this way. And oftentimes you find this uh, head and shoulders as a reversal, or you might find a double top you might find a double top here and the market might reverse in the wave and continue to go down this way. But anyhow, the recent low breakout in this case can be a great confirmation for the potential reversal on 5 minute chart and that's why it's reasonable to put the stop loss slightly below the recent low level in this case so that you have to get out when the market retraces backwards to this level or this level. So. You know, anything can happen in the market and like I recorded video uh, last week, we cannot control the market, right? So, but um, we have to focus on what we can control. And one of the things that we can control is where to put the stop loss. And that's why, you know, um, you have to put the stop loss according to your strategy. Well, actually my strategy is where the recent low is on lower time frames because once again, I confirmed the uptrend in higher time frame and also I double confirmed it on the mid time frame. So I expect the mar market should go up this way in this case. I never expect the market retrace backwards like this reverse in wave. But when it does, once again, we cannot control the market so it might happen. There might be some big news about mm, maybe uh, like a you know, vaccine type of news, right? Uh, maybe that might affect the market. Uh, it might spike down, or we might have a big news in the market. Anything can, uh, you know, anything can move. The market spikes up and down, and that's why it is always better to put the stop loss as a seal bot so that you can control your safety in your own term. So that's pretty much it for today's uh, video. So the market is going up, so I continue to look for buy chance in this case. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, please press a good button before you leave and please subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these lives and videos every day. So today was a recorded video on Wednesday, but tomorrow, Thursday, I will do the live stream and also Friday, I will do another live stream exactly at the same time. So I hope to see you on the next live video. So until then, please stay healthy and stay gold. Bye for now. Mata ne. Thank you.